It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1721, recorded Thursday, April 4th, 2019. Rollin', rollin', rollin'. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have a gadget that you can get for free. I have a webcam gadget I've been looking forever for, and I finally have it, and a new theme for the crappy corner, all next on The Gizwiz! It's the Salem Show with Dickie D, and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Gizwiz, because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for The Gizwiz now. Now! And here he is, our lead gadget engineer, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? Uh, I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good myself. Spring your OB, sprung. your uh, you had a uh, yes. what did you have? Goofy disease. Goofy disease. I can now <laughs> breathe without mucus. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that's always a that's always a help <laughs> to. Uh, Read without mucus. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm all good. And quick, quick little cold in and out, which is great. Um, uh, yeah. Google, Google Plus is good. Were you ever on Google Plus? I was. I really liked Google Plus. I liked the uh, the um, the circles that you could have. So you could have just your friend circles, your tech circles, your family circles. Um, but it's no And more. now they're all gone. All gone. Which is crazy because Google Plus did a huge integration with um, YouTube. Where you, like, your YouTube account was really your Google Plus account. And when they said they were getting rid of it, that, that was one of the things. Is they had to unintegrate <laughs> Google uh, Plus. Because, like, the comments were all Google Plusified. Like, everything was Google Plusified. I remember oh back gosh. in the day, they the um, they said every product should have some Google Plus feature, and it, it seemed like every department's every department had some like bonus associated with helping Google Plus get off the ground. So they integrated it into everything. So I can't believe that it's uh, it's really going. It's gone. You know? Yeah. Well, well, uh, Scooter X is saying Google Plus for enterprise goes on. Oh. But Google for Fun. consumers is gone. It's gone. Yeah, oh, Google man. for consumers is the only thing that I was on. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, I have a little update on my Canon camera, possible update. Oh, yes. Uh, the, yeah, you know, and it was wait, interesting because... Camera you hated. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Ex exactly. Uh, I was going to live with it until I started doing some videos, and then you would be like four minutes into the video, and it would just say, uh, cannot write to this card, uh, camera stopped. And it would erase those four minutes. Um, and so I went on to I, – I, I thought, you know, does anybody else have this problem? So I started Googling, and it ended up at the Canon fan site where – a lot of people were having this problem and it turns out this one guy, uh, they are devoted over there, did all of these tests with different cards and adapters. <laughs> and it turns Don't out that just love you, the internet because unless yes. someone like had written a article about all of this and done this in a magazine, you would have no idea. But fine. Thankfully there's a place for, Weirdos yes, like us yes, that do those he, tests. Yes. And, it, and he had the, the results of the Sandus card and with the Kingston card and with the thing. And it turns out that if you are using a micro SD card in an adapter, oh. you are way likely to have that error come up. Got it. And, so and he also pointed out card. that in 288 pages of the Canon book, nowhere... Yeah. Does it say to use an SD card complete, not uh, a, a micro in, in an SD card adapter? So I'm going to try that uh, only because yesterday was one of the windiest days ever. And Dennis and I went down to check the boat out, make sure the lines were OK. And the Hudson River looked like the ocean. <laughs> 
something like that with a cell phone camera, it still looks like you're at the beach. Yeah. And I thought, if I had thought to bring the Canon camera there with the 32 times zoom and then with, with digital zoom, it's, you know, it's 800,000 million. Anyway, I would have gotten some great pictures. So I'm going to, I have 30 days to return it. So I'm going to try it again with a single uh, SD card to see if it overcomes that uh, terrible error. Yeah. That's just so yeah. frustrating. I, I, you know, it I, is. I really like dedicated you know, hardware for stuff. Um, but come on, you know, we got to update that Canon. Got to update that. Yes. I mean, the fact that it still had mini USB was like, oh. <laughs> oh. well, they haven't updated, you know, uh, lawn TV uh, was great by saying, they they just say uh, they just every year they just say it, it's the 600, 700, 800, but they don't change anything. So, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. and your yeah. week, you have anything thrilling? Not really anything incredible, uh, especially not when it really comes to gadgets. Uh, but it's uh, spring has definitely is definitely here. It rains in Texas in in April, um, and Charlie, my dog, does not like that. And you know, we reviewed the Thunder shirt, and the problem yes, with the, yes. the, thun the Thunder shirt is great. If you do as it explains, which is put it on your dog when he's calm. And I have, I have just not had time to think about doing all that training ahead of time. So it's been a few difficult nights with poor Charlie oh, freaking oh out gosh. over the thunder. So, oh um, my gosh, but he's, he's fine. He's fine. So, okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, so anyway, that's kind of that's really the only thing oh, top shit. of mind is, is, uh, it's been raining every night. Which has been oh, getting boo. me not a lot of sleep. So that's oh, bad. boo. Yeah. But other than that, everything's, everything's good. Yeah. All right. Well, then Can't let's uh, jump into some gadgets. Let's do uh, it. Uh, oh, like four or five months ago, I did a gadget from Rapid X, uh, a USB uh, hookup for charging five gadgets in a car. And they remembered the video and they said, we have something new. And they sent me a product sample of my desktop. Hmm. And this is what it is. A while back, we did a uh, USB charging device from Rapid X. And now we have a new gadget from them called My Desktop. Okay. Uh, so this seems like a good gadget for, actually, I think it's a good gadget for travel because it uses one plug and then you'll have many other things to do. And those things to do, we'll find out together. Okay, let me just get rid of that. <laughs> uh, all right, so, ooh, I like it already. Um, don't know what that is. And, oh, okay. Wow, look it. I like these things. I wow, could drive people crazy doing what the heck is it, but it's not fair. <laughs> uh, it's a plug, a plug cover. And I, yeah, I guess this is an adhesive tab. Oh, yeah, to secure to a desk. All right, so what this does is it is a way to... Dennis is clearing my desk. Let's it looks so beefy. Here. That cable is thick. Uh because it's to charge six desk. things. Wow, that's oh, a wow. heavy duty cable. <laughs> All right, yeah. so. That is, that, that's why they give you that adhesive plug it in pad. Down here. Yeah. And. All right, so now this is what you get. All right, so up here, we know that we have power. We have three USB charging ports. I think each one is 2.4 volts. Then you have a plug, three prong plug on each side. And the reason I think it might be good for a hotel is, you know, you plug it in under the desk, then you have three charging ports up here, you have two AC outlets uh, on the side, but wait, there's more! Is that a Qi charger okay. I see? And yes. then uh, you have a stand for your phone, and, oh, da, 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 da. up, up! <laughs> oh. Yes, it's a ah. phone charger, okay? It's a uh, wireless Qi charging, so you can do one, two, three, four, you can charge four things, uh, 
through the top and the front port and then assuming you plug two uh, AC adapters in the side you can charge six things at one time all right no reviews yet because it's uh, a new gadget it comes in three different colors it's 60 bucks it's from rapid X and so they have that black one uh, a white one and the one that I have here that uh -uh, uh -uh, black and blue white and I guess tangerine and white and gray uh, I think it's a neat idea rapid X and it's called my desktop there you go Dicky Watch all the giz whiz cleaning up my desk okay bye I wonder if um the plug next to your bed is going to be in the future a lot like the telephone nook in in homes <laughs> you know how you uh, some homes would uh, have like a little cutout yeah, in the yes, wall yes yes so yes you could l leave your telephone there <laughs> and in the future when everything is uh, nuclear powered so you don't have to charge it every five million years you're gonna go oh remember that when we had these plugs we had yes, to plug yes. stuff in well you know what there's one step close to that uh um I, I think it was at CES where there's a train running and I, you know, I love trains, it's a little model train. And I said to the guy, what's running this? And he said, it's running on AC power that we are projecting down to the track from that thing up there. So the, ob <laughs> so the object was somewhere along the line, you would be able to charge things just by putting them in a certain area. Oh, wow. Yeah, so Wire, that would be very neat. wireless power. Yes, yes, exactly. I think it was down to like they could do it within like two feet or three feet, maybe it was five feet, and very little power because, you know, it's yeah. just a little single dinky train there. Um, but we're, we're slowly getting there. Yeah, slowly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that little device also has a built-in surge protector. So I, the reason I think it's good for hotels is hotels always have – you bend down under the desk, and there are two things plugged in there, the TV set and the lamp. Yeah, both of which, both of which you need. So I always feel bad when it's the the lamp and the um, the clock, and I some poor uh, hotel staff yeah. is going to have to reset this clock because I need yes. the lamp, and I'm unplugging the clock. Hope it, hope it resets exactly. itself. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So this will work out. Leave the TV plugged in. Uh, actually, a lot of the TV things in hotels, they actually have a little uh, clamp on it screwed to the wall so you can <laughs> unplug it Yes, because they don't want to have to reset uh, their T or their cable and everything. Um, so this is an easy way. Take that out, plug it in, plug the lamp into that, and um, you're set. That's awesome. Oh, you know what we haven't talked about? What? The death of air power. Did you hear about this? No. So air power was a technology, it was basically a mat that Apple was going to sell. Um, and it was for all of the their wireless charging devices. And one of the um, the cool parts about it was a very Appleified. So you should you should have been able to drop your phone anywhere. Uh, you can drop your eye, uh, uh, ear pod um, case anywhere, your on, Apple on a watch mat. anywhere, anywhere on the mat, and it would just start charging. Um, and it would also, you know, integrate with software because that's what Apple does. So it would give you cool animation that stuff was like charging and, and stuff like that. Um, but there have been, they, they, when they announced it, they said it would come out one year later. And we didn't hear anything a year later. So <laughs> lots of people were suspicious. What was going to happen? What happened? You know, what? Where? Where, where is the air power? Um, and there's. It was kind of taken off of some web pages, and but it was still found on packaging and some other areas. So there's all these rumors floating about. And finally, they announced that air power is no more. Um, I fix it. Did a little article about it. Um, now, I haven't read this entire article, but like, see, this is the packaging from the new AirPods recently, and they show the AirPower mat. This is, this is oh, only, this product is, okay. I don't even think this product is uh, widely available, because it just came out. Um, 
So this is what a lot of people have mentioned was this, this type of design of having coil over coil over coil, that way anywhere you placed the thing on the mat, any, any device that was placed anywhere, it would find a coil that was close by, activate that and, and start charging. And uh, the, the, what a lot of people have said is that it would just overheat, is that that, oh. that design is just way too hot. So air power is now officially dead and uh i think it's coming back as a frying pan <laughs> that is right you know yeah uh, the, air yeah. fry power <laughs> we know um air air fryers have just been all the rage recently so apple's getting into that game with the air fry power mat um, oh my god so oh yeah god. so anyway that is uh i'm not i doubt you were looking forward to it because you're you no know, i know really i have no apple many products, apple devices right? I, um i'm <laughs> I'm more the Apple guy here, uh, but yeah, it is it is dead. So everyone, if you were holding out and weren't buying a Qi charger, you can now go buy a Qi charger because air power is dead. And you know, it's officially Qi, right? I, I cannot yeah. believe because the Rapid X uh, little demo tape about it says, and it it features new QI charging. <laughs> No, no one calls yes. it QI. No, it's Qi. Everyone calls I know. it Qi charging. And, and so I said, wait a minute. Have <laughs> I been calling it Qi all, wrong all these years? So I went online and I said, how do you pronounce QI? And they say, Qi, like in cheese. Yeah. So, yeah. Totally. So anyway. Yeah, no, that's, I was, I was watching a really old, um, I can't, well, this is going to be a crummy story. But anyway, I was watching an old uh, trailer for a movie, and they pronounced some really popular celebrity's <laughs> name incorrectly. And, and it was like debuting, and it was like Broad Pitt, you know, or something like that. Was, <laughs> right, right. I, I don't remember the exact situation, but uh, yeah, that's kind of how I feel. They gave that to some voiceover guy who had no yes, idea. Yes, exactly. It exactly. was pronounced Chi charging. How do you pronounce it? Uh, QI. 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 Oh, oh, yeah, that sounds right. QI. Yeah. QI. Okay, well, um, finally, oh, anyway, to wrap so. up the charger, $60 on Amazon already, or and, or also their website as well. Their website. For the same price. It. Yeah. So very cool. Um, so now, in a little break of tradition... We occasionally do a Chad Extra. A Chad Extra. This is extra, a gadget. Extra, extra, Chad Gadget. <laughs> extra, extra. Buy all about it. Um, so I have been, basically ever since starting this studio, uh, what is that, four years ago, I have been looking for a webcam solution um, for a simple webcam, but I really wanted manual zooming. I wanted to manually zoom in a webcam. Every webcam I've ever seen uses that digital zoom, which is just a fancy word for crop. So if you have a 1080 uh, image and you digitally zoom in, it'll go in to 640 or, or, or whatever. So it'll, it'll cut off resolution. This problem became compounded recently when I got my awesome green screen that I've reviewed here on the show. I love that green screen. The only downside is it's rather narrow. And with my desk and my streaming setup, my webcam is very far away from me. And if I had a manual zoom lens, it would be super simple to just zoom in, cut off um, you know, any of the, uh, the shot that doesn't have the green screen and everything would be fine. But unfortunately that just, really didn't exist. So, I, I, seriously, this has been something I have looked for years to try and fix. About, I'd say it was almost a year ago, I, I, fi I finally saw something that may be the solution, and it is this, the Logitech Brio Rework Kit. What this kit does, let me see if I can find the instructions for you, because it'll be a little bit um, more, obvious. What you do with this kit is you brought, buy a normal Logitech Brio and then you tear it apart. <laughs> Isn't a Brio 200 bucks? Yeah, it is. This is a very mm -hmm. expensive product uh, that you may break. <laughs> they do oh sell a version oh that is already made for you. Um, oh. But I actually own two Brios. 
So I decided I would take on this project myself. So everything in these instructions I have done, uh, you have to unsolder. Oh There's my, an LED. Oh my gosh. And there's an LED light right there. The Brio case is very interesting. This is a little cone of plastic that reaches down to the board to, to project the little on indicator, the on LED. And that LED is directly soldered to the board. And what you're gonna do in the next step is remove all of the lens casing by unsoldering that and then removing that. So you, you are just left with a bare board. That is the sensor. That is the CMOS oh, sensor, I assume. Gosh. And then you screw it into a new case. And doing that allows you to add your own lenses onto the front of the, uh, the kit. Um, and you are able to use just plain old um, CS mount lenses. Oh CS my mount gosh. Has been around for a long time. Yeah. I believe it was 16 millimeter is what CS mount was mostly used for. You can also use C mount, but C mount's um, less popular and you need to have a, a spacer in there, but, you, but it's the same thread count and same diameter. So you can still use C mount, uh, but CS mount is a lot more popular. CS mount lenses have also been uh, popular. I mean, from 16 millimeter to now, now they're more popular in surveillance video camera setups. So if you're gonna be looking for a lens, mostly you're gonna be looking for surveillance lenses. One of the reasons this video has been a little glitchy this entire episode is because I have the Brio hooked up uh, already. That's This is what is on the other side of uh, the, the Gizwiz. This is the monocaster. There's the, uh, the thing. But I forget who's that. Zach Braff. Zach Braff was sent to me in the mail. So Zach Braff is over there on the other side of the, the uh, studio. So this allows me to zoom in and out manually and get full resolution of the webcam. Now, when you do this, these lenses um, don't really have what is called back focus. Back focus is when you basically you zoom out and the, and the frame stays in focus the entire time you're zooming. This camera doesn't have that. And so you have to readjust the, the focus um, anytime that you zoom in and out. So as I zoom out here, the shot's gonna get really unfocused. So I can zoom back in there. And I'm just gonna pull focus kind of as I zoom out so you can see that sure enough, we are doing a manual oh, zoom oh, out. I see, I see, yeah. Of this lens. So this is fully zoomed out. This particular lens is, I believe it's a three millimeter to six millimeter um, zoom level. So now this is a very, very wide angle lens. Looks pretty good, but I can also yeah. zoom it all the way in and go from the previous shot to something like this or anywhere in between. Um, you know, where, wherever I, I want to, to be in that zoom, um, zoom ability. The other cool thing, and so let me just show you what this looks like, because I've already made it. Um, and so this is the, uh, this is, this right here is the wow. case. Inside of there is the, it's very thin, incredibly thin. I have this attached to my tripod mount. Um, and this tripod mount is a story in itself. Um, unfortunately, let me see if I can get it off here. Um, the, uh, the case, if I can, uh, I don't know if I can do this actually. Oh, here we go. Oh, possibly. Uh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So this is off the tripod now. So this is the entire webcam right here. It point forward like that. Unfortunately, this lens that I just bought is very, very wide. And this part right here is where the tripod should mount, but oh, this lens can't gets read. in oh. the way. So you can see that. So I had to 3D print my own tripod <laughs> plate. Oh my so this gosh. is a 3D printed tripod plate. Uh, this is a little extender so that it can uh, sit up, up there. And then I made it match uh, my previous tripod plate. That is version two. Version one was right here. So this is version one of that tripod plate. Um, but now that it is oh, off the wow. tripod, I can just unscrew this lens just like this. This is the six uh, millimeter to three millimeter. And then, and you can also see 
that right there is the image sensor of yeah. the Logitech Brio. Isn't that incredible? And I can pop on a new lens. This was the first lens I bought. This lens costs only, I think, $23 off of Amazon. It is a six millimeter to like a hundred and something millimeter. So it goes like really, really zoomed in. This lens is not nearly as good, which is one of the reasons that I bought the next lens. <laughs> you can see it's already yeah. really dirty. Um, but there we go. So we can focus over there on Zach Braff. But this one has the ability to zoom in a lot. I mean, just an incredible amount. What a lot of people are using this for, I'll go ahead and set this a little bit down so maybe it'll yeah, be less shaky. It, it, there we go. Beyond, uh, yeah. What a lot of people are using this for is also for lab work. So they will attach a Logitech Brio to a microscope or something like that, and then they'll get the 4K resolution of the Brio and be able to you know, look at their stuff with just a standard webcam. The cool thing is, is that the insides of this webcam is just a Logitech Brio. There is no change to software, so all your, all your um, drivers will still work. It'll show up as a Brio, it'll get updates as a Brio would, um, and it can even, you can even use a Logitech Capture software um, if you wanna use that as well. So now let's get to price. Price is not all too bad. The kit itself is $74. Oh, by the way, this other lens that I bought, uh, the second lens that I bought, which is way, way, way better, this is a Tamron lens, which Tamron is a brand name, and this is from their Megapixel line, and this line makes lenses at a high enough resolution um, for 4K, and that's why that $23 lens um, was not so great, but this, this one's a lot better, um, and, I bought this one off of eBay for I think $40, $45, which you can buy brand new for about a hundred. Um, I use the best offer feature on eBay to try to, 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 try to get that. Um, so here is the prices, $71 for just the kit where you do have to unsolder two things, the lens mount and the um, LED webcam, and so you just need solder wick and, and a soldering iron. Um, or you can buy the kit that includes the Brio, and so that would jump the price. Let's see, maybe I'm gonna say no filter, whoops. Let's see if this will update the price. No lens cap. Nope, doesn't do it. But it says right there that it's an extra $208 for the Logitech Brio. So it's not that big of a markup for because the Brio does cost around 200 bucks. Um, so $108 for them to do it, uh, them, for they, them to do it and, not, and you don't have to do it yourselves. Oh, um, well that's- So yeah, not that bad. So ba basically it's only $8, right? O yeah, only $8, $8 bucks, more than maybe the Maybe $9. Um, yeah, okay. Unless you're like me, that you already have a, a Brio. In fact, I had two, so I was thinking, if I mess up on the first one, I didn't even, I didn't even have a second one to go back on. <laughs> um, uh, now, a uh, little thing of note is that all of this is from Lithuania. So <laughs> you do have to buy from Lithuania and it takes a little while to get to you. It took about a week for mine to arrive in the mail. Um, there was also, if you have too heavy of a package, you have to ship with UPS, I think. And that was like a $60 charge. Um, that was one of the reasons I went with the DIY kit also is because um, that was only $8 shipping versus the like $60 shipping for oh my gosh. the Brio included. So this is kind of, you kind of have to be <laughs> a little crazy, crazy <laughs> like me. Um, <clears throat> but if you have been looking for a webcam that needs an interchangeable manual zoom lens, this is it, and I am so happy, so, so, so happy to have this gadget um, in my, in my uh, uh, gear bag. Oh so my go. God, well, it's so funny because I had a Logitech camera and I wanted to move it to the other side of the screen and the cable didn't reach and I didn't know what to do. And then I bought one of these. Oh yes, the cable And extended. then yeah. I put a thing in there and then the cable reached 
So it's a pretty much the same kind of. <laughs> yeah. You, you <laughs> basically had to re-solder. I mean, the entire uh, yeah. piece of Yeah, <clears throat> well, I didn't have to re Fortunately, the little box thing with the thing in it was the same kind of hole thing that the cable that was stuck <laughs> on the end of the Logitech went in the same hole there. So that was. See, uh, for someone, you know, other than me, they probably just go, let me just move the camera closer. To you. <laughs> get, get I'll live with some reduced resolution. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Exactly. exactly. All right. Well, I, I'm, that's great. Uh, I'm, I'm actually impressed that you could do that and bravely do it. Oh yeah. My. Well, it was, I was very nervous. I was very, very nervous oh um, gosh. about pulling it off. So, um, anyway... That is my long story of how I have a manual zoom lens. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try to unplug it and maybe the glitchiness on this camera will go away. Um, it may also freeze and we may have to edit this out. One second. Oh, yep, it froze. Okay, what's... Okay, well now on to something a little less complicated. <laughs> now, un unfortunately, Dennis knew what this was right away. Any idea what that is? Oh, I huh? think I do know, yeah. All right, show the video. <laughs> I think it has something to do with the loo. Yeah, funny. you got it. Okay, okay. okay Let's go live to the it? <laughs> Came in the mail today. Da -da. Um, um, um. Any guesses? Toilet paper holder. Oh. <laughs> it is. All right. We're gonna go in the bathroom and I'll show you why you may need this. All right, so this is why, because of these new super mega rolls. Six rolls equals 36 regular rolls. So six of the super mega rolls equals 36 of those little Mickey Mouse rolls. But there's a problem, is they don't fit in a toilet paper holder. They're too fat. So, ta -da -ba -da. so now, on the back of it, you can call this number. Actually, this is a new packaging because before you could only do it online. You go to shaman.com, you give them the address, and uh, they'll send you one of these. They're free. What? Free. I'll, I'll show you what is so yes. annoying about this is, let me just, in addition to not being able to open the packages. All right, so what's really stupid about this is look at the size of the roll. Now I'm gonna take this off to show you. Look at this. Look at the room here. Why don't they just make a smaller roll? And they could have all that paper on it and this is the problem, is this doesn't fit in here. All right, so now I don't even know if this is going to, if this is going to help. Um, because now it might. Because what it's going to do now is let the roll be out further. And, uh, okay, it just, it just fits. Um, but I, I, I cannot get over the fact that over the years, I think to tell you the truth, I think what they started doing was making this bigger. So it looked like toilet paper rolls weren't shrinking. Um, and then because toilet paper rolls <laughs> used to be way smaller. Yeah. Don't you think so? Yeah. Dennis yeah, is yeah. nodding his head. Uh, so it, really stupid. Instead of reducing the thing of that, they make you send away for a free gizmo that lets you use these giant rolls. Uh, that's it. Just go to Shaman. I'll, I'll bring it up here. In, in, in case you have a different brand and you need the thing, you could get it free. Um, just Shaman.com. And as for your free roll extender, call 1-800-777-1410. Okay. The Gizwiz. The, it, this is closed, so I'm not doing anything. This is closed. <laughs> I can't believe that Charmin would sell toilet paper that is so large <laughs> that their team developed and made and manufactured a project product that they would ship out 
to f- for free um, just so people could use yes, the, yes. The product. Yes, yes. Instead of the whole thing would be make this smaller. Yeah. Every, it'll fit into everybody's current holder. And the wild thing, Chad, is last night on ABC, I'm watching the news and they go, new from Shaman. And I go, oh, they're going to talk about the free gadget. No, Shaman is coming out with the one month roll of toilet paper. It's about this big. What? And they will be selling toilet paper stands that it will sit on. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. I know. And the other funny thing is I tried to find on Google what was the diameter of the original toilet paper rolls because I know they were small because we all made things in school out of toilet paper rolls and they were not this big. I could not find that the, that dimension, but I did find out that the sheets have also shrunk. What? Something that, uh, yes, it said that original toilet paper sheets were four and a half by four and a half inches, and they are now four by four inches, or at least according to this article. So that was another way that they shrunk toilet paper um, without having to raise the price or raising the price thinking that you, you don't care. Um, it's really amazing. I, it, I'm also not, confused. It's like, what is this? What is this like want to give you a month's worth of toilet paper on one roll? Like, uh, can't you just uh, change the roll? Like, yes. It- I, 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 and who wants a big stand? Yeah. You know, uh, unless you're going to a ticket tape parade and you need to throw toilet paper out the window. I, I, I don't get it. Loke look said they also made the rolls narrower. Yeah, I think they did that Loke when they sh- uh, shrunk the sheets. Um, it's called marketing. Golly. Well, I, it's called marketing, but boy, it's dumb. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you're right. To have to, <clears throat> to have to make this, for you to have to call, even though it's free, and I ordered one for Dennis, and and uh, one of them, they, they just put it in an envelope. It's a a badly padded envelope. So one came broken, one works, uh, but it is really, really stupid. Yeah. Stupid, stupid, stupid. A stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> I mean, do they really, do you, I assume that most people won't be ordering that and they are just going to have to shove it in and it's going to be cramped. And it doesn't fit. And it doesn't, it doesn't fit. It. And then, <clears throat> whoops. Ooh, huh? And we're back. So uh, in conclusion of the Charmin rolls. The only other thing that I can think of is that there is a, they have done some product research that says people will spend $3 extra on a gigantic roll just because you get more of it, um, you know, per, per sheet, you know, like, okay, you get a yard with a normal size roll, you get two yards, so double, but you'll, you could pay 2.3% 2.3% more, so you get that extra 3% of cash on top, is the only reason why I could think that they would go through this much trouble, because it's it's got to be a nightmare to them, too. Uh, I guess. I, I guess. No I don't know. I guess the thing is they figure, no matter what we do, people need to buy it. Yeah. So... Um, well, maybe not a luxury brand like Shaman, but um, I guess they know that. Uh, yeah, yeah. You it's need been to a buy while since I've had to use a banana peel. Oh, I'll just say that, <laughs> you know. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but hey, now we got a crazy gadget from it, which is uh, which is pretty cool. So yeah, exactly. A, a one exactly. of a kind. One of well, a kind one of gadget. a kind. Oh, one of a kind for sure. Uh, which brings us to ha <laughs> ha oh, Chad. But you might want to get crappy. Crappy corner. See if I can hide what this gadget is. Because oh yeah, because we have a new theme. We have a new theme, and um, I think I've mentioned on the show before. I have tried as hard as I can in order to get one-handed gadgets on the straw poll, but this time all new 
All new categories. We had calming and relaxing gadgets. Okay. Um, grooming gadgets. We may have had that uh, one last, nah. last month. They'll never, they'll never vote for that. Never vote for that. Gadgets that help you fall asleep. They might vote for that. Okay, out of those three, calming and relaxing, grooming and gadgets fall asleep. What would you what would you have voted for? I'm gonna say it could be gadgets that fall asleep, but I think they used the podcast for that. <laughs> well, you would be right. There you go. Gadgets <laughs> that fall asleep over okay. half the vote. All um, right. There you go. So this is a gadgets that will help you fall asleep month. Very excited about that. And so enter the first. Gadget. This is this is a what? gadget. Yeah. Oh well, that <laughs> I didn't set up that camera. Here, let's go to this this camera. This is a it's part of Sleep Time Lights brand from Pillow Pets. So this is a Paw Patrol pet, but the idea is that on the top of this pet is a night light. And you could give this to your kid as a way to help them fall asleep. So they have a night light with them that they're holding, um, and, and the rest of it is is a, is a fun little pillow. And so you activate it. There's a button on the back, so you can activate it that way. Just press it once, and it lights up, just like so. You can press it again, and it will cycle through the various different colors. This is a very bright... Now, now is this projecting this on the ceiling? Yes. So oh. there are yes and no. There's um uh you know there's this faceplate here that would kind of stop a little bit of the light and just diffuse it directly from here. But there are cutouts on the top of this too to project this around. Let me see if I can. Oh, I can turn off the lights here. Let me see. I don't think that the uh, webcam. We have just had so many webcam issues. But I don't think that the webcam is going to catch this. Let me see if I can make it. I'm going to force it to see um, what I want it to see. Okay, so we're going to turn this way up. Okay, we, we, have, we have one more one more thing at our disposal, <laughs> which is to turn off the, the room light here. There we go. It's even oh, darker. Oh, that's good. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. So there you go. That is... Um, a good kind of idea of, of the light here. And we can also turn this exposure up a bit more. There we go. Ooh, ah. Oh. So yeah, so um, it will project some light around. And in this space, I do have some um, monitors on, but it is definitely bright enough, I would say, to fall asleep to. Like this is kind of the perfect uh, brightness to fall asleep to. It's not too, too bright. It's very diffused. You get a cool pattern on the ceiling. These these uh, little stars. Not sure if you can tell, but the oh, there you go, there they are. That's the good. LEDs will turn on and off, which makes the pattern change. So the stars will kind of pop in and out as that like blue LED or red LED is turned on and off. So it has three different modes. It has all LEDs on. So here, let me see if I can keep this still here. So you, this is all the stars on. All the, There's a purple LED in there, yellow, red. Oh, it looks like some of them are blinking on and off. You have the next mode, which goes between just a few LEDs. So this is a, a, a less bright setting. And you have another that just goes between like one or two. So it's even less bright. Now, one cool thing about this product is that there are two different modes. There is... Whoops, I, don't, I have no idea what I just dropped. It's way too dark in here. Um, there is one mode that is just constant on, and then there is another mode of 20, um, 20 minute timer. So you can change, whew, um, you can change the mode um, on the bottom of the little guy. So you open this up, you switch it from on to 20 minutes, and that's what it looks like right there. That's just straight on. This is the 20 minute timer. It has a little cover. You can cover that up. And then you can make this a, either a pillow, kind of like that, or you can squeeze them together and use some Velcro to make them more of a, a puppy pal. There's a cover. And they're double A batteries or rechargeable? Triple A batteries. Triple A batteries okay. for him. 
Um, and, and that's basically it. So if you have a kid that has a hard time falling asleep, um, you can use this gadget to uh, give to them, which they, I kind of like the idea of a nightlight that you can hold. Because um, if you wake up in the middle of the night and you need your nightlight, well, you have it right there with you. You can click the button immediately and have your light. If it's over there on the ground or somewhere, or it, there's a timer for that, uh, then you wouldn't have that right next to you. There is this big plastic piece right in the middle of it. So it isn't like super duper soft right in the middle. I mean, this is all hard plastic, but this part is soft and it's cute and adorable. They make this version, the two that I saw, that I saw these at Target, the two that I saw was this Paw Patrol version and then they also made a unicorn version. The unicorn version, I almost got that just because it was a unicorn. It had a unicorn horn and a cool pink tail. Um, uh, but uh, I ended up not getting that. So that is the product. Uh, this is a uh, Pillow Pets. Pillow Pets is actually a pretty big name brand. Um, uh, I've seen them before. Um, so this is their uh, sleep time lights. And I bought this for about $25. I can find it um, on Amazon and they have a whole bunch of different um, types of these um, for the same price. So you can oh, okay. see. Oh, those are cute. You know, these are some that are not branded. These are dinosaurs. Um, let's see if they have any extra pillow pet. There's a, <laughs> yeah. There you go, this is the uh, unicorn that I saw in there, crazy horn, pink tail, and then our Paw Patrol buddy, I just saw him, there he is. He's only $20, oh look at that, you can get him for cheaper. Um, so that is the Paw Patrol guy, rated well. And so there you go, our first gadget for sleep time. I did test it, the timer, it does turn off after 20 minutes, wouldn't expect it not to, but um, I did uh, put it on the timer mode and, and see if it turned off and it, it, it did turn off. Um, so there you go. That's your first help gadgets to help. It may not be help me fall asleep. It might be help someone fall asleep, to help uh, someone okay. fall asleep. Gadgets to help you sleep. Help, yeah, gadgets to help you sleep. Sure. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. And our email is from Fred Hans, H-A-N-C-E, who writes, I am a first-time submitter. I have a new video for Thank the Gadget you. Warehouse segment. And here's Fred's video. Hi, Dick and Chad. My wife and I had an alarm clock. It kind of broke. It said 888 AM and PM at the same time. I thought it was kind of strange when I woke up one morning. I was like, wait a second, I'm running late for work now because it's 8.88 a.m. and p.m. <laughs> I got confused and, no, I didn't make the work on time that day. We also had this Amazon Dot sitting next to it. This is the second generation. And we got tired of, you know, two bunch of things on my dresser. If I, if I pan to the side, you'll see the mess. I'm not going to. It's just <laughs> a mess. We'll believe you. But we... But warming around Amazon, I found this clock that you, you can set the dot into. You can set your time here on the front. I, I really like this. On the back side, you have a switch for daylight savings time. You adjust your brightness. What? And you got a switch for 12 hour and 24 hour. This is the, this is the plug that came with the, with the dot. Um, it plugs right into the clock right here on the back side. I'm not sure how well you're going to see it, but a... But a but the uh, chart, the plug for the dot does do a good job. Keeps the, runs the clock and the, and that the dot awesome. all at one time. One plug. It also has a battery back up here in the bottom. Now the door's kind of upside down, but hey, it works. It takes two AAA batteries. Oops, I pushed the set button. There we go. Uh, it takes two AAA batteries, so in case the power goes out, it remembers the time, but it doesn't show the time. I I found that out the other day too when we had a power outage and I again I I wasn't late for work at least but it works pretty well it holds the dot really well um, 
it also here's the commands here's a command so we can so instead of you know grabbing our phone and turning off our smart bulb here in our bedroom we just say hey thing turn off grumpy and we named our bulbs after the seven dwarves <laughs> oh, thanks dick and chad talk to you later this is a man right out of my own heart this is this is wonderful um i, I now i'm going to start looking for one for a uh, google home because I've switched all the Google Homes. Oh, to Google Home, yeah, okay. Oh, man, um, that is awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. still up there. It's twenty. It's a thirty. Uh, thirty bucks, right? Yeah. Uh, and it's for. Is there an Echo a, a dot Echo three? I don't know yeah, if there is. Yeah, there is. It, there is. is. Okay, this is, this is, is for the two right there. It's funny that it shows. Yeah, see, it says third gen right there. Um, yeah, this is for the two, which is a more kind of. Uh, uh, blocky base. It's not quite as rounded as the third gen. I love that. I really yeah, do like but it that. Seems I think it's to come in black and white. So slick that it has the charger built in, so you don't have to run two USBs. The daylight savings time, so you don't have to go in there and change the time. Yeah, brightness control, which is great. I'm gonna start looking for a a Google Home version of this. What? How? How? What do you even describe this? What does it say? Clock stand. Okay, a clock stand. Interesting. Oh, yeah, that's a good way to look at it, yeah. Yeah. Clock stand. Let, let's see if... Um... Well, I think the Echo's been around longer than the Google Home, so maybe they're just catching up. Yeah. Uh, there is... A, well, I, I see some options, but... Like this, it's kind of, but I like the fact that there's a digital time on it all the time. Like that yeah. is awesome that you can just, I, I can't tell you how many times I'm just using the Google to f figure out what time it is. I just say, hey, look, what time is it? <laughs> um, and, uh, but that's kind of an adorable little, uh, thing. that's, that's clever. That's very clever. It's clever, but I'll, it's just, well, get out of here. It's um, just clever. It, it doesn't do anything. It right? doesn't do anything. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it, just, it has no, it just use holds it other than looking clever. So, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, that's nice. That's, that is a nice Gadget Warehouse. Love it. From Fred. Yeah, so, Fred, thank you. Fred, you uh, get a copy of Mad Magazine. You get one of those 38-year-old Alfred E. Newman pictures, uh, assuming you live in the U.S. And from your video, I guess you do. Um, and a first-time submitter, so that's great. And we, we'd like to get more of those. So make a little video. Any gadget you have, like Fred uh, telling you about a gadget that uh, – people will really like and may not have known about, but any kind of gadget, something that's been in the cellar for 40 years or 30 years, uh, make a little video, two to three minutes. Just make sure we can hear you. Use horizontal format, <clears throat> upload it to YouTube. There's a drop down menu. You can click on listed. If you uh, don't want people to just stumble on it, send us the URL and it goes to mail at gizwiz.tv mail at gizwiz.tv and we can use one right away so get us a video send it in in that let's head to the letter Now, our letter is the subject line, dehydrated water. I got it right here. <laughs> He's got it right there. Chad showed us a couple weeks ago the can of dehydrated water that to get water, just add water. There you go. And the letter is from Larry Tompkins. And Larry says, it's funny you talked about this. I am a truck driver, and for years we had terms when we are pulling an empty trailer. Oh. We say it's sailboat fuel or air brake, uh, air brake fluid, and yes, dehydrated water. That is funny. We would show up and tell our location that I had a load of the aforementioned. Some got it, some didn't. Uh, looks like I missed my chance on a million-dollar idea. Oh, well, I love the show. 
Thanks, Larry Tompkins, a.k.a. the Geeky Trucker. That is awesome. I don't know if you missed a million dollar idea. I think it's a hundred, a dozen hundreds of dollar idea (laughs) would be my guess. Uh, Don't know how much, maybe, maybe, maybe they're taking us all to town. I mean, I spent, what was it, $15 on this thing? Yeah, yes. So, uh, (laughs) funny. I, I'm glad I, we're not the only ones that come up with, like, the grumpy naming your smart lights after the seven dwarves, adorable. Um, I'm, I'm glad that uh, people still have some, a good sense of humor out there. Oh, yeah. Our, our chat room. Our of chat course. Room. Of course. It's great for that. Uh, <laughs> and, hey, you know what else I'm glad for? Our Patreon. Our patrons. Yes, exactly. Thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com oh slash oh gizwiz. God. You guys are incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting us every single episode. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if you like this show, if you want to give back just a little bit, Patreon is the easiest way to do that. Every time we upload an episode, Uh, You guys support just a little bit, and we're seriously only asking for a very little bit. It is totally optional, though, and you're always going to enjoy the Gizwiz as long as we're making episodes. Um, And so uh, thank you so much to everybody who has supported so far, who if you've supported in the past, if you're currently supporting, thank you so much for your support. 203 shows with this one. 203 independent episodes is pretty incredible. We have over 200 <laughs> shows just us with these webcams. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, if, P- if Patreon is not your deal and you want to give a different way, we have a PayPal link at our website, gizwiz.tv, and you can click on the Patreon tab, and there's a link to PayPal there. Uh, speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. If we switch it up and we don't uh, record on those days, we'll tell you at a banner at the top of the website. Uh, And also, if we are not live, if you catch us after the fact, you can watch all of our episodes there. That's where we keep them so that you can watch them. Uh, But also, you can head on over to gizwiz.biz. That is Dickie D's site where he writes up fantastic articles about all of the gadgets in detail. So if there's something that you want to remember about a gadget, you, you remember that gadget, but what was that detail? Uh, and you, and you, you can't uh, find it in the episode, Dickie D's website is the best place to do that. You can also play What the Heck Is It? The Game Show online where you can win real mad magazines. This is the gadget, the whole gadget, nothing but the gadget right there. Um, this is, uh, it's pretty obvious uh, to me. This is a, um, uh, what do you, what do you call a person who like likes to be like in pain or like frustrated? Oh, a sadist? A sadist. This is a sadist, um, remote control. You don't have <laughs> no idea what those buttons do. It's the remote control to your television. One of them turns it on. It's probably in the middle there somewhere. Um, so that, that's what that is. If you think you know what this is, get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz there are 12 mad magazines for correct answers and by the way this isn't just a piece of the gadget this is the whole gadget so tw- six mad magazines for uh, correct answers but 12 mad magazines for clever hilarious interesting answers so make us laugh over at gizwiz.biz ask me that question again about what do you what call is, a person what do you call a person who like likes to be in pain and frustrated a Gizwiz listener. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Gizwiz <laughs> listeners, for listening to our show. Especially if you watch live. We had a few technical difficulties. Uh, that about wraps it up for this episode. So we'll see you next week. And I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>